In today's video, I'll walk you through the process of creating short form content inside Premiere Pro from the very start to finish. To begin, let's create our new project, give it a name and then just skip this window. Since we are making shorts, let's adjust our workspace accordingly by going to Window, Workspaces and then selecting Vertical. This basically makes our workspace more suitable for vertical videos. Now we can import our main video file by either dragging it into the project panel or by clicking this blue import media button. Once the video is imported, make sure the project panel is set to list view and then go to file, new, sequence and click on settings. For the time base, pick the frame rate of your main footage, which you can see here. For me, it's 24 frames per second. As for the frame size, make sure to set it to 1080 by 1920, which is the most common resolution for shorts. After that, just copy the rest of my settings. You can also save them as a preset to avoid repeating the process in the future. Now, let's drag our footage into the timeline and then click Keep Existing Settings. If your video was recorded horizontally, you'll probably want to scale it up. To do that, you can either right-click the video and select Fill Frame, or manually adjust the scale and position in either the Effect Controls panel or the New Properties panel. Now, if we want to keep most of the video as it is, here is a quick trick. Duplicate the clip by holding Alt on Windows or Option on Mac, then scale up the video below, add some Gaussian Blur and lower the opacity. This is a simple way to make things look clean without zooming in too much. Now, this is a part where I'd normally dive into editing, but I've already covered the basics in my recent videos, like how to cut clips efficiently or how to add animated subtitles, so I'll make sure to link those in the description. However, if you just want to add some simple text, press T on your keyboard, click anywhere on the video preview screen and then type in whatever you want. To further customize it, head over to the Effect Controls panel, or again the Properties panel, whichever you prefer, and adjust it to fit your style. When it comes to audio, there are a lot of options to choose from, but I personally use Epidemic Sound to avoid any copyrights. They also have this handy Premiere Pro plugin as well. I'll make sure to leave a link in the description as well. Now, once your edit is ready, navigate to the Export panel, give your video a name, choose where you want to save it, and make sure the format is set to H.264. We can also select a high-quality 1080p HD preset as a starting point. And then under the video settings, click Match Source to align it with your sequence, frame size, and frame rate. After that, let's adjust the target bitrate. If your video was in 24 or 30 frames per second, I'd say aim for around 10 megabytes. And for videos that are 60 frames per second, I'd go for something like 15. It should be more than enough for a short form content. If you would like to learn more about export settings, I have an in-depth video about that as well. Now, once everything is set, you can save these export settings for future use and then hit export. It's probably worth mentioning that you can also connect your YouTube or any other social media platform to upload videos directly from Premiere Pro. But personally, I prefer to render the media files and upload them manually, as it gives me more control. And that's about it. If you found this video helpful, be sure to watch the next tutorial that you can see on the screen. And don't forget to check out my Premiere Pro Essential Presets Pack as well. It's a huge time saver. Alright, see you in the next one then. Bye!